And whether you're seeking asylum or not, chances of finding an affordable place to call home are diminishing. New numbers show Canada's rental vacancy rate is the lowest it's been since the 80s. And rents have soared far above average annual increases of about 3%. So some Canadians are taking the unconventional path to home ownership. CTV's BC Bureau Chief Andrew Johnson explains. For many Canadians in 2024, a dream home is owning one at all. People are struggling to make mortgage payments. So they're teaming up to share a home. It's both an affordability hack, 100%. Vancouver realtor Noam Dolgan specializes in pairing up strangers to pool their resources. You also get access to different types of housing, so single family type homes with yards. You can get access to neighborhoods that you wouldn't otherwise be able to get into. Christian Veenstra and his family currently split the rent in Metro Vancouver with a roommate. Now they're shopping around to share a mortgage. Feels very comfortable living with her already. And so, you know, rather than renting, I think maybe it's time to buy. Experts warn crafting a strong legal framework up front is key sharing of space, who gets what space, uh, what's permitted in common areas, who's allowed to visit, when are they allowed to visit, when do you sell the property. A new Leger survey finds close to half of Canadians are willing to consider non-traditional ways of getting into the housing market, and that's being primarily driven by young people. Millennials and uh, Gen Zers, uh, it's, our, it's our largest client base. Paramal Gosai is one of the people behind an app bringing buyers together in Toronto where he's seeing those young people partner with their elders. Duplexes or triplexes where they're all kind of supporting each other but also financially um, being way more stable. It's a multi-generational model Gosai says he knows well given his South Asian heritage, a model he believes more Canadians are ready to embrace. They may not have a choice. Andrew Johnson, CTV News, Vancouver.